A field is divided into eight sections as shown below. The width of each section is three meters. The height in meters of each section is given in the diagram. Use the trapezoidal rule to estimate the area of the field. The question mentions the trapezoidal rule. So the first step will be to open up our formula book to page 12 and to look at this rule. The rule states that if we use n lines distanced h apart, the area A is approximately h over 2 times y1 plus yn plus 2 times y2 plus y3 plus y4 all the way to yn minus 1. There is quite a few letters in this formula. So let's have a stab at identifying what they might be in the context of our question. N is referring to the number of vertical lines we're using to estimate the area. In our picture, we have nine lines. So N is equal to nine. H refers to the distance between the lines. In our picture, this distance is labelled as 3 metres, so h is equal to 3. y1 refers to the height of the first vertical line. In our picture, y1 is equal to 4. y2 is the height of the second vertical line. In our picture, y2 is 5.8. y3 is the height of the third vertical line, and we have y3 is equal to 7. The labelings of the rest of the y values follow in a similar pattern. Y4 is the height of the fourth vertical line, Y5 is the height of the fifth vertical line, and so on. We've now found all the values we need to use our formula. We found that n was equal to 9. So in our formula, we can replace the y n with a y 9. And since 9 minus 1 is 8, we can replace the y n minus 1 with y 8. Now, let's sub the values we found into the formula. From here, it's simply a matter of getting out our calculator and doing some calculator work. Our answer is representing the estimated area of a field. Our question is using the unit of metres for distance, 
and areas will always use squared units. So our unit here is meters squared. The area of the same field was re-estimated by applying the trapezoidal rule again. This time, a different section width, 4 metres, and a different set of section heights were used, as shown below. The area was found to be 145.6 metres squared. Use this information to find the value of the height marked x on the diagram. Just like the previous part of the question, we need to use the trapezoidal rule. Let's have a look at our diagram and identify the values for each of the letters in the rule. N is the number of vertical lines we have. Here, we have 7 vertical lines, so n is equal to 7. h is the distance between the vertical lines, and in our picture, h is equal to 4. a represents the area. And we're told in the question that the area is 145.6. Now for the y values. Remember, y1 represents the height of the first vertical line, y2 represents the height of the second vertical line, y3 represents the height of the third vertical line, and so on. We are now ready to sub into our formula. We found that n was equal to 7. So we can replace the y n with y 7 and the y n minus 1 with y 6. Now let's sub into our formula. The goal here is to find the value of x. In other words, to isolate x all by itself on one side of the equation. However, there's a lot of numbers around this x on the right hand side, so let's do some simplification. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 4 plus 8 is 12. And when we add together all the numbers in the bracket with the x, we get 25.5. From here, let's focus on the right hand side of the equation and try to simplify things a bit more. Let's start by multiplying out the inner brackets. 2 times 25.5 is 51, and 2 times x is 2x. Now, I can add together the 12 and the 51.
This gives me 63. From here, we can multiply out the square brackets. 2 times 63 is 126, and 2 times 2x is 4x. Now that we've cleaned up the right hand side, it makes it a lot easier to solve for x. To do this, we need to isolate the x term by removing everything else from the right hand side of the equation. The key point here is the following. To remove something from one side of the equation, we must perform the inverse operation to both sides. The first thing I'm going to remove here is the 126. This represents addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction, so what I need to do is to subtract 126 from both sides. Now, I'll want to remove the 4 in front of the x. This 4 represents multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. From here, all we have to do is type 19.6 divided by 4 into our calculator. The unit here is meters, so our final answer is that x is equal to 4.9 meters.